really tempted to bring against a, uh, a spire, but it does seem as though it's done a fair chunk of damage to the Dragon's Rage, never mind anything else. Now sitting at 50% perma hull. Um, I'm not sure about the, this loadout from the Riders, this is interesting. The, uh, the spire is going to be potentially quite vulnerable to Hades fire. And the um, front of a goldfish is, well, a watcher has a hard time against mobulas and uh, Artemis fire against a watcher can, can pretty effectively lock it down. This, this might be a tough match for the, uh, for the riders to, to pull the, uh, the, the, pull the win out of here. Still, yeah. I've said that in the past and the riders have utterly crushed their opposition, so uh, I, I shouldn't commit too hard to that, but... It's all in the tactics, dude. It's all in the tactics. True, true. Alright, so we okay. already have some engagement here between Tranquility and Surprise. Dragon's Rage is going for it, charging into them. I don't think that's the best idea because the Sky Barn is already at their arcs, I guess. In yeah, their so arcs. The thing is the they have to have one of their ships pointed at the spire at all times because if they let that move in and flank they're going to have a very unpleasant experience um they don't necessarily have to be shooting the surprise but they have to be in a position where they can get their guns onto it quickly because otherwise it's going to take out uh, uh, which other ship it charges at yeah so dragon's rage w is now behind the skyborne the skyborne needs to turn around very slowly <clears throat> Now, Surprise is uh, slapping the Tranquility. Oh, both of those Mobulas are on Dragon's Rage, losing armor, losing hull very fast. They managed to get back up, but I think they just bought some seconds to their life. Yeah, there comes the Light Flak. They just got the armor back up in time again. A little bit slow on the, the Light Flak there, perhaps. Um, but another armor break here might be the end. We can see that yep. uh, the Skyborne have their engineer on it, and down they go. Now the surprise is, uh, can they quickly get back into cover? They're going to be facing a lot of Hades fire, they're going to be, well, shot from all directions, but they can probably get into a position where, oh, a bump, that's that's not what they wanted, that's going to slow them down, that's going to make repositioning virtually impossible, and that's yep. almost certainly them dead. Yeah, now, very good, Sneeze will break their armor and hull as well. And there it is, someone just sneezed at an, I guess, surprise ship. Indeed, the Dragon's Rage has spawned back in, but that first engagement going to the, uh, to, to Sons from Squad. Yep. Which is actually good, in my opinion. Like, good was, engagement. Good yeah, the... The Dragon's Rage may have overcommitted, but it's it's very difficult to say that because they've got to draw their uh, the the two mobulas in. The mobulas did a good job of keeping guns pointed at the surprise, even if they were engaging and focusing down the Dragon's Rage. They were able to make sure that the surprise would always have a uh, always have a hard time if they uh, they they pressed forward, which is which is what they've got to do here because the spire is going to be well. Aiming to kill pretty quickly here, I think. Yeah, so, um, Skyborn, okay, Tranquility now being engaged and flanked by Dragon's Rage, which is not very good for their health. Meanwhile, Surprise and Sky, well, Skyborn is turning around to help their teammate. Surprise is sniping the Skyborn out of the sky. But Surprise is very far back here. The Tranquility and Skyborn might have a free reign on this uh, this goldfish for a little while. I mean, the yeah. Dragon's Rage has no engines, it has uh, no gun pointing at the uh, the Skyborn here, it's got a Hades flying into its balloon, its balloon and armor are taking a fair chunk of damage. It's, oh, this could be, this could be very unpleasant. It's about to be between two mobulas, which is pretty high on everyone's list of places not to be. Well, not well. Dragon's Rage is well down. Okay, I didn't finish my thought, but okay, he's down. Surprise is a bit of long range there, so they should be safe. Yeah, the surprise just not really able to provide much support there. There, 
they're landing a few shots. They've managed to get some armor breaks there. They hit the uh, the, the tranquility, I think, uh, a couple of times during that fight. But they've got a hellhound heavy carronade uh, coupled with what is it? Two Artemises and a Mercury. That's that's going to be tough when you're facing a Hades. If the Hades can land, and the Hades have been landing, the surprise has got to reposition. And every time it's done that, the Dragon's Rage has been left on its own. Yep. So, surprise is... Well, baiting for a while. No, uh, hull armor. Well, never mind. Ah, oh, damn it. So, armor is down. They lost a bit of hull there. Dragon's Rage charging into a Skyborn. Firing the Watcher Barrage right there, disabling some of their guns. But the ram was unsuccessful if they were wanted to ram it. Well, they're, they're reasonably close here, but at the same time, the tranquility is going to kill their ally if they're not. Uh, if the dragon's rage doesn't turn around and reposition, the tranquility here has better downward arcs. It's got a Hades, which is going to cause a lot of damage to the surprise. Although they're missing a few of them there, that's less than ideal. They would have probably liked to have got an armor break there, which they potentially could have with those shots. The Dragon's Rage is probably not really winning its fight against the Skyborn here, uh, in spite of being up close and personal. Um, there are Gatling shots flying into the uh, into this, um, microphone muted. Dragon's Rage, although they're now returning fire. Looks like the microphone Tranquility activated. might have turned around. That That's an interesting decision. I'm not sure I would turn my back on that Spire. Um, it's... Uh, that's a difficult call. The Spire has uh, uh, enough balloon that it can get in behind. Yeah. Tranquility might find itself without any engines here, and then without any balloon. Alright, so I accidentally locked my PC, but here we are again. Uh, Skyborn is now attacking Surprise, and Tranquility needs to turn around because he's facing backwards uh, to Surprise, which... Well, for a mobile it's not the very best idea to be in that position, but Surprise lost their armor, losing their hull. They managed to get the armor back, and Dragon's Rage now flanking the Skyborn. This is not looking good for Skyborn. Yeah, now a lot of those shots did go into the balloon though, which is why the uh, the Skyborn's perma hull is in, uh, in still in reasonable shape in spite of a Watcher Barrage with the armor partially down. Dragon's Rage taking a fair chunk of fire, its perma is, is getting eaten away at here. I think they might go down and with that I think this match might be over. The surprise has nowhere to run, no perma hole to speak of, and two Hades and two Light Flax pointing at it. I think this is it. And there it is. Congratulations Blue Team. Indeed, well, it looks like we're having a uh, Storm Rider versus Sunstrom uh, squad uh, final here. Well then.